How's it going movie fans? The 12th of September 2020 is the 69th birthday of actor and producer Joe Pantoliano, a character actor who has become recognisable through his numerous high profile supporting roles in both film and television. Pantoliano made his first film appearance in 1973, but he would have to wait until the start of the 80s for his career to really start taking off. Pantoliano currently has two film projects currently in production, which have yet to have a release date. Here are the Firewall's top 10 Joe Pantoliano movies. At number 10 is Bad Boys for Life. The title which sounds like it really should have been saved for the fourth instalment, in the third instalment of the Bad Boys franchise, Pantoliano reprises his role of Captain Conrad Howard 17 years after the previous film. The running time is 124 minutes, and Bad Boys for Life has the firewall rating of 7.3 out of 10. At number 9 is La Bamba. This biopic based on the life and career of rock and roll legend Richie Valens, focusing primarily on his rise to stardom in 1957. Pantoliano plays Bob Keane, Richie's record producer and manager. The running time is 108 minutes, and La Bamba has the firewall rating of 7.4. At number 8 is Bound. In this romantic crime thriller, Pantoliano plays Caesar, the mafioso boyfriend of Violet. Violet is looking to get out of the relationship, then she meets Corky, the lesbian ex-con who moves in next door to the pair after being hired to do maintenance in the building. The running time is 109 minutes, and Bound has the firewall rating of 7.7. .7. At number 7 is The Goonies. A group of children living in Astoria, Oregon are facing their little gang being split up due to foreclosures in the area, but an old treasure map gives them the chance at one more adventure. Pantoliano plays criminal Francis Fratelli. The running time is 114 minutes, and The Goonies has the firewall rating of 7.8. At number 6 is Empire of the Sun. Adapted from the semi-autobiographical novel of the same name, set during Japan's invasion of China during World War II, where British schoolboy Jamie Graham is forced to swap his privileged life for a Japanese internment camp. Pantoliano plays Frank Demarest, an American sailor. The running time is 153 minutes, and Empire of the Sun has the firewall rating of 7.9. At number 5 is The Idolmaker. One of Pantoliano's first breakthrough roles came in this musical drama where he plays Gino Pilato, a pianist and best friend of Vincent Vaccari, a songwriter who has a talent for turning artists into stars, but his passion becomes his obsession. The running time is 117 minutes, and The Idolmaker has the firewall rating of 8.1. At number 4 is Midnight Run. In this crime comedy, Pantoliano plays Eddie Moscone, a bail bondsman who tasks bounty hunter Jack Walsh with finding an accountant who skipped out on bail after embezzling $15 million from the Chicago mob and bringing him back to LA. The running time is 126 minutes, and Midnight Run has the firewall rating of 8.3. At number 3 is The Matrix. Thomas Anderson, aka Neo, is a computer programmer by day and a hacker by night. He has long had the feeling that something is not quite right, and one day he is contacted and told the truth about the Matrix. Pantoliano plays Cypher. The running time is 136 minutes, and the Matrix has the firewall rating of 8.7. At number 2 is The Fugitive. In this action thriller, a Chicago vascular surgeon returns home to find that his wife has been murdered. With little evidence on his side, Kimball is convicted of murder and sentenced to death. Pantoliano plays Cosmo Renfro, a deputy US Marshal. The running time is 130 minutes, and The Fugitive has the firewall rating of 8.8. .8. At number 1 is Memento. Due to an injury, Leonard Shelby suffers from anterograde amnesia, which means that he is unable to form new memories but he writes a series of hints and notes to himself so he can find the man who killed his wife. Pantoliano plays Teddy, an acquaintance of Shelby's. The running time is 113 minutes, and Memento has the firewall rating of 8.9. Thanks for watching, next week I'll be counting down the firewall's top 10 Jeremy Irons movies. Don't forget to subscribe for more top 10s and reviews.